Hello, welcome. I'm so happy you're here. In this video, we're going to talk about why manifesting has nothing to do with what you're doing, that includes techniques, and why it has everything to do with what you're being or who you're being. So that's what we're going to dive into in this, in this lesson, in this video. Before I jump in, a couple announcements. Number one, yes, I'm still pregnant at the time of recording these videos. At the time of posting this video, I will not be pregnant anymore. So if you're wondering why I'm still pregnant, it's because I'm recording this video in August. I'm a couple weeks, less than two weeks away from her due date. I sense she's coming very soon, and I wanted to record a bunch of videos for all of you to have to post over the next couple months. So that's why I'm still pregnant right now in this video. Second thing is, you all know I have lots of self-study courses linked in the description below. Courses down there to help you manifest a specific person, new love, self-love, money, and feminine energy. So have a look below if you want deeper guidance on how to manifest whatever you want. Okay, let's dive into this. How come manifesting has nothing to do with what you're doing? And why does it have everything to do with who you're being? Well, this is because the 3D reality is responding to who you are. That's what is manifesting is. The 3D reality is going to mold and shape based on your beliefs about yourself, who you believe you are, what you believe you have, what you believe you're going to have. Your beliefs ultimately are ruling your reality. That's what's ruling your reality. And so anytime we're doing any sort of techniques, what we're doing is we're moving towards a goal of changing ourselves in a way that we really start to believe that we can have our desire. That's the ultimate goal of any technique. It's to get you to start thinking and feeling in a new way more consistently so you actually believe you're going to have what you want. You are this person who is loved, cherished, adored in the relationship. You are this person who is abundant and wealthy. This is who you are. You're taking on a whole new identity where people get caught um, in manifesting or getting confused about manifesting is they're trying to do the right thing. They're trying to do the right technique. They're trying to say the right affirmation. They're trying to figure out what do I do? What do I do to make my desire come to me? And what we have to remember is it's not about what you're doing. It's about who you're being. So any time you are doing any sort of manifesting technique, the way you want to think about it is you are training yourself to think and feel a different way about who you are and about what your circumstances are and about what's going to happen to you. And as your identity changes, who your being changes, as that all changes, you're going to get natural results in the 3D reality. So if you find yourself getting caught or confused, what do I do? What technique do I do? What am I supposed to do? Do I do this? Do I reach out? Do I not reach out? All these little things about what to do. It could also be what actions to take. I'm going to do a, a taking action video soon as well. Anytime you're getting caught in the doing, what do I do? What's good to remind yourself is who am I being is a better question. It's not about what I'm doing, it's who am I being? And how do you change who you're being? You change the stories you're telling yourself about who you are. By changing the stories you're telling yourself, you'll start to change the way you feel about who you are. You start scripting new stories. You start doing imaginal acts that tell you you're a different person. You do the inner work to start to think and feel like this new person. And as you're practicing that over and over and over again, you really will start to feel like a new person. And as you feel like that new person, that's when your 3D reality starts to change. Okay, so remember, it is not about what you're doing. What you're doing doesn't matter that much. Who are you being? Who are you thinking of yourself as? Who are you walking around in the world as? If what you're doing is making you feel like the person with your desire, that's a great thing to do. But that's the only thing that matters. You don't have to say the right affirmation or figure out the right words to tell yourself or anything like that. The right words are the words that make you feel like a new person, okay? 
Thank you so much for being with me in this video. I love being here with you. I'll see you soon. Bye.